In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the fastest and the most dominant blitz in Madden 23. What's going on YouTube? My name is Cody and I just want to thank you for watching this video. And we're going to be talking today about a really effective blitzing concept that I like. You're going to get two people free at the quarterback. It's going to really force your opponent to have to really be on their game with their pass protection. They're really not going to be able to pick this up by simply blocking a running back or blocking a tight end. And so I wanted to break this down uh, for you guys in this video. And we're just going to come out in this uh, Y trips week because it just has a running back and tight end on both sides. And the blitz, uh, to set this up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn your auto flip off, uh, at least in my opinion, it works best off. And then we're going to come out in my favorite base defense out of Big Nickel right now, which is Pinch Blitz. You're seeing in Madden this six man meta defenses. People are basically blitzing five or blitzing six and playing main coverage and behind it. But the beauty of the Big Nickel is that it has the best coverage in the game okay it's one of the reasons why we our first defensive ebook was on the big nickel over g we released an entire alternate ebook as well devoted to teaching all of the principles of match defense and how it works and then we also did a whole uh defensive ebook on big nickel over g itself and really i believe still that this is a very effective defense and it's because of the fact that we can send pressure in any way that we want to and that is something that you just don't have in a lot of different formations you have so many blitzing threats in this formation and it's what makes it so powerful so um, the setup is actually really really simple all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line we're going to show blitz and then what i like to do here is bring this safety down you don't have to i just like to kind of bring him down uh, as it kind of almost act like he's my user if you will uh, but then we're going to typically jump on to this defender right here whoever's guarding the halfback that's who we want to be user defending and you can blitz your user i do think this helps with mobility this year a lot i definitely think it helps with stopping the run but basically you're looking at the running back if the running back goes in a route you're going to go guard him if he doesn't go in a route then you're free to lurk the middle of the field and it's really that simple running back goes in a route okay we're going to go guard him and as you see we're getting two people free at the quarterback now you can if you want to go ahead and crash your defensive line outside if you're wondering what playbook this is in um, I get this question a lot. We're in Kansas City. Kansas City has got a ton of really good defensive formations in it. But you'll see here I'm going to block my running back. So if I if I see that the running back gets blocked, and again, I like to generally shade inside with this for coverage purposes. But if I see that the running back gets blocked, I'm going over here. I'm going to the right every single time. I'm looking to try to lurk a quick out to the tight end or a quick slant or something. Um, that is my main, main thing. So you want to start here. And then if the running back blocks, I go, okay, I got to get over here. And this is great for defending bunch. It's great for defending trips. It's great for defending you trips. Um, it's just a really balanced defense. And that is the beauty of this. Now, if you wanted to, um, you could, I just think it makes a lot more sense to use your this defender, especially against a trips formation. But I do want to walk you through a, a compression set um, just to show that as well. So like tight doubles is a good example. Let me see if I, do I have any other tights in here? I don't think I do, unfortunately. But tight doubles will be fine. So let's say that we're playing someone in tight doubles. What we wanna show with this is, you have to look at the alignment of your coverage. So when you show blitz and you pinch and crash, you're gonna typically wanna user the defender and that is guarding the running back. In this case, it's this guy right here, right? Um, so he's going to do this in pretty much every two by two set, but let's say that they motion Let's say that they motion uh, One of these dudes to the left if you look here in this example It stayed the way it's supposed to I will say in some formations like you trips for example Sometimes it doesn't so you've got to just be aware of that um, but what you'll see here is again if that running back goes on a route I'm gonna go guard him here. He stays in the block and as you see they max protected and we're still able to get pressure with this defense That is why this blitz is the best blitz in the game or at least the most dominant one um, It does require you to send six We do have ways in the ebook where you only have to send five and you'll still be able to get really good pressure but this formation in my personal opinion 
it just has so much versatility. Like, if I really wanted to, if they're going to block everybody, right, maybe maybe they will, right? So maybe they're going to block everybody. They've been doing that. They motion this guy and block him every time. I'll blitz the linebacker off that side, and we can, we can send it that way as well. You know, so the more people that they block, the more versatility we have defensively because we can have blitz threats. If you look at this formation, honestly, like I could take that guy and man him up on the tight end. And now, I mean, I can blitz you from the edges and I can also blitz you um, on the interior of this defense as well. So there's just a lot of different options. And if they're truly going to max protect uh, where they're going to literally block everybody on their team, this is a great option. You know, you can do something like this and then, you know, you're responsible for that triangle receiver. I was kind of looking at the blitz there but i could have gone and covered him as well so you know you just see the, the the versatility of this blitz i think on full display and the beauty of this formation is when you show blitz and stuff it pretty much all looks the same it's, it's really hard um to consistently know like what i'm doing pre-snap with this specific formation so you know we could send it like this i think this is a really good version a cover to inverted style of blitz uh where we're going to be able to jump the quick flats and we're going to be able to get good pre great pressure so guys this is just a simplified version of this blitz obviously we have more stuff in our patreon ebook on this if you want to get the full ebook on big nickel big nickel make sure that you join our patreon and again the cool part about being in the patreon is you don't just get access to the big nickel you get access to all of my ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks that we release throughout the madden season um, as long as you are a member so make sure that you're in the membership it's only 10 bucks the link to sign up for that is down in the description below thanks for watching this video and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the patreon page